I am your host, Seriously Focused Johnny. You are now tuned into Difficult People Chronicles. And today's episode is called Safeguarding and Leadership. In my IG post, maybe last week or the week before last, I think it was maybe two weeks ago, I stated that everyone is not built to be a leader. The fake ones are grandfathered in or cheated to get in that position. And the real ones are built. They are built by sometimes uh, people in their household, God. Uh, They read books on leadership. So they have that mindset. They, if they don't read the books, if they don't learn within the household, God puts people in their path to educate them on what being a leader is all about. So they're able to hone in on this skill set. They connect with the people. They have integrity. They are charismatic. They, mm, what would I say? They just connect. (laughs) That's all I can say. They can connect. So someone emailed me and they talked about the company they worked for. And the feeling that their position is at stake. This is a person in leadership. The reason is because the power of their employees. So what was stated is basically after the shutdown, after the shutdown, employees went back to work and their whole mindset is different. So what I explained is, yeah, like if they are working in a stressful environment, they the economy slowed down for a minute. They were working remotely and all of a sudden it's time for them to go back to work. They start to look at life a little bit differently because they were forced to slow down. So some worked from home. They were more at peace as opposed to being in a toxic environment. So then I spoke to a lady some time ago where, well, two people, two women, one person basically kept calling her ex-supervisor a leader. And then the other person I spoke to, we were talking about leadership. One of the things I said to the first person, which also applied to the second lady, was that a person who holds a title doesn't make them what they are. Meaning, a person who holds a leadership title doesn't necessarily mean that they're a leader, per se. (laughs) Some people are head of households, but they do not display leadership qualities. Because they do things within the family that violates the level of safety. And when I say violate the level of safety, I'm talking about rape, abuse, excessive spending, or gambling. They violate the level of safety. Some people hold high positions, but they don't display leadership qualities. And the one reason, again, is they violate the level of safety. I want to talk about today safety within companies and the workplace. To be a great leader and not have a high turnover rate and employees having low morale is a key factor safety some ways leaders violate when it comes to an employee's safety is by number one gossip yes you have leaders that are petty (laughs) so they gossip number two lying number three clickish number four distant not being able to relate to the people that they're supposed to be leading number five In this day and age, being a narcissist. (laughs) Number six, going too far with a particular culture. And this culture can be, I've seen it in certain places where you have leaders displaying aggressive behavior towards employees, not being able to control their anger, and they create a toxic environment. 
where their displayed anger becomes the norm. Number seven, micromanaging. <laughs> they have a need to control so much that they micromanage. Number eight, playing both sides, a leader and an employee. So this person has the leadership title, but then they go behind the scenes and they do petty nonsense, childlike behavior, acting as if they're an employee. So their, their position is very confusing to the people that they lead. Number nine, feeling oriented, meaning they always get stuck in their feelings. Their decisions is always based off of, let's say, uh, something happened that's petty. The decision that they make is wrong all across the board and is based off of their feelings. Number 10, showing favoritism and loyalty to their favorites. And their favorites is basically those that don't do work. Number 11, being afraid to make decisions or owning up to the decisions made. Meaning that there's a decision a person wants to make. Instead of saying to the people that they lead, this is the decision. They bring in someone else's name in the mix and say, the decision made was that person's decision. But that person who they lied on doesn't even know what's going on. So it creates bitter blood instead of the leader owning up to the decisions that they made. Because a leader is not going to always have friends. Number 12, not leading by example. Here it is. A person cannot be a leader when they never paid attention to the things leaders have done and they violate a lot of the above. And they think that leadership is based off of just plain old networking alone. And if they are grandfathered in, they don't have that skill set, the level of experience. Well, I'll be the one to tell you. A lot of people who leave jobs never tell the truth. And some of you all can testify. The truth is... Employees leave because they don't feel safe in an organization. The communication behind the scenes, the gossip, always looking over their back. The lies, which can make another person harm another because of the lie on their God-given name. Or the misunderstanding of a person's level of professionalism. The favoritism, the employees that work the hardest, suffers in some kind of way, health, stress, or unhappiness, or all the above. The being cliquish and distant. Some people don't feel a part of a company they work at, and the leaders don't see them even though they go to work every day. If you are a leader, and you want to safeguard your position, make your employees feel safe. When a leader makes employees feel safe, they respect their leadership. And the respect is not by force, but by what is in their heart. Meaning, some will say they respect the narcissist out of fear, but really don't. Respect is like pure, honest love, genuine. So the key is, if you want employees to feel safe, don't gossip, don't lie about situations or on people. Be a leader, someone the people can trust, having integrity. Relate to your employees. Stop bringing the streets in corporate, especially if you do not know what it is to be a street person, meaning the banging on walls, stomping feet, yelling across the room, slamming doors, turning heads, snapping fingers, rolling your neck, extending your neck, putting your face in other people's face. 
like you for the streets. When a real street person come up on you, you cringe and hide under the desk. (laughs) Yeah. Stop getting stuck in your feelings when making decisions. Be loyal and fair. Lead by example. If you don't know how to lead by example, read a book on leadership. If your leader over you sucks wholeheartedly, pick someone you don't know that you've heard about or read about and use that as an example. When you have a pure heart and make employees feel safe, they will stick around, I'm telling you this, off of experience. And if you leave the company based off of loyalty, they will follow or and or Or set that same example that you have set. Or they look to you as being the example. Leading by example. So that's it for today. I hope this helps. For those that are in leadership position. Because what is happening now is that. We have a lot of people out there in leadership positions. And within themselves, they're saying something is not right because the people over them are not leaders. They're not. The people over them are spoiled brats and they feel that they can lead by iron fist, stomping feet, rolling necks, banging on walls, banging on doors, banging on tables, stomping feet, bringing the ghetto into corporate. And then when the turnover rate is high and the employee morale is low and all these people say, we jump in ship and their ship sinks and their position becomes a thing of the past where they no longer hold their leadership position. They got to ask questions and sometimes they got to point that finger to themselves. But what I see is that some of these people in leadership position Like I said, they look to the wrong leaders. The person that holds the title is not really a leader. So that's it for today. For one-on-one session, you want to know about leadership, sign up. For suggested topics, put in the subject box topics and email me. All the links is underneath. Check out my store. Check me out on YouTube. Check me out on Facebook. Love me more and I love you more. Later.